Chapter 1 A Letter for Adam One day a postman came to my village. The postman brought me a letter from my son, Saul. Is your name Adam? The postman asked. Yes, I said. I have got a letter for you. The postman read the envelope. Adam of the village of Minta. A letter for me. Who is it from? I asked. The postman looked at the envelope again. From Saul, he said. He gave me the letter and walked away. Martha, Martha, I called to my wife. Come here. We have a letter from our son, Saul. Martha came out and looked at the letter. She was excited but she was also worried. A letter from Saul, she said. Is he alive and well? I'm going to find the school teacher. He can read the letter. I am living in London. I have a job in a factory. The work is very hard. I often work at night. But the pay is good. I am well and I live with people from my country. No, the school teacher said. I'm not wrong. It's not a mistake. Here is the money. And he gave me a piece of paper. What is this? I asked. A money order, the school teacher said. Go to Darpur. Take this money order to the post office in Darpur. The money order is worth 100 pounds. The post office official will give you the money. 100 pounds. I said again. Everyone laughed and said, Adam, you are a rich man. You can buy many things for your farm and for your house. And I can buy some good food and drink in Darpur. I am going to give a party for you all, I told my friends. Martha said, Saul is a good son. That evening, the village people talked about the money order and my money. Martha and I also talked about the money. We needed many things for the farm. Chapter 2 Adam goes to Darpur. The next morning I got up very early. It was dark and everyone was asleep. But I was going to Darpur. I washed and dressed carefully. I put on my best clothes and I carried my best stick. I put the money order carefully in my pocket and I said goodbye to Martha. I walked 10 miles to the main road. I sat down at the main road and ate my breakfast. I waited for the bus. I waited for two hours. Then the bus came and I got on. It is a long way to Darpur. The bus takes three hours. I arrived in Darpur and walked to the post office immediately. I do not often go to Darpur. I only know the market, and one shop. This is the shop of Rick. I buy things for my farm from Rick. There were a lot of people in the post office. I asked about money orders. A man showed me the queue. There was a long line of people and I waited at the back. Finally it was my turn. I was at the front of the queue. But the official did not serve me. Excuse me, I said. It's my turn. I'm next. You are next. Old man, I'm very busy, the official said. Look at my papers. Look at all these people. I am very busy. And you must wait. So I waited. Finally the official looked at me. What do you want? He asked. I gave him my money order. This is my money order for 100 pounds, I replied. The official held out his hand. Identity card, he said. Excuse me, I don't understand, I replied. Your identity card, the official said again. Give me your identity card. What is an identity card? I asked. I can't give you any money for this money order. First I must see your identity card. Your identity card gives your name and your address. Your identity card describes you. There is a photograph of you in your identity card. I don't know you. Who are you? The official was a little angry. But I was also angry. Who am I? I said. Everyone knows me. I am Adam of the village of Minta. I haven't got an identity card and I don't need an identity card. Old man, I'm very busy and you're very stupid, the official said. Who are you? Where is Minta? Give me my money. Give me my 100 pounds, I said. The official looked angry and said, show me your identity card. I don't know you. The official gave back my money order and he turned away. Where can I buy an identity card? I asked the official. He did not speak to me. He did not answer. Go to the Ministry of the Interior, a man said. He was standing in the queue. And he told me the way.